chapter six busted. The next day at the next day at school, an announcement came over the loudspeaker. George Beard and Harold Hutchins, please report to Mr. Krupp's office at once. Uh oh, said Harold. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry, said George. Well, they can't do, they can't reprove prove anything. George and Harold entered Mr. C Principal Krupp's office and sat down in the chairs in front of his desk. The two boys had been in this office together countless times before, but this time was different. Mr. Krupp was smiling as long as George and Harold had known Mr. Krupp. I didn't, I didn't see you boys in the big game yesterday, said Mr. Crop. Uh oh, said George. We weren't, we weren't feeling well. <laughs> yeah, Harold stammered. <laughs> we went home. Oh, that's too bad, said Principal Crop. You boys missed a good game. George and Harold quickly gallanced at each other, gulped and tried not to look guilty. Lucky for you, I got a videotape of the whole thing, Mr. Krupp said. He turned into the television in the corner and pressed the right button into the CDC VCR. A black and white imagined appeared on, on the TV screen and it was an old head edge. George and Harold sprinkled pepper into the, the cheerleader's pom-poms. Next came a shot of George and Harold pouring liquid bubble bath into the marching band's instruments. How do you like the sound? How do you like the sounds of the pre-game show? Asked Mr. Krupp with a clever grin. George and Harold eyed George eyed the television screen in terror. He couldn't answer. Harold's eyes were glued to the floor. He couldn't look. The tape went on and on, revealing all of George and Harold's behind the scenes attacks. But now both boys were eyeing the floor, trembling nervously and dripping with sweat. Mr. Krupp turned off the TV. You know. Said he said, ever since you boys came to the school, you've been one prank after another. First, you put Disney chairs into the jail house, taking the parents with their equipment. Then you made it snow in the cafeteria. Then you made all the look like a year old yak wish. For sit for long years, for six hours, long fill last for six hours straight. For long years, you two have been running a smoke from the school, and you and the truth anything with until now, Mr. Club. Mr. Krupp held, held the, the videotape into his hand. So the library of installed nine video and various cameras all around the school. I knew I'll catch you two boys in one and act one day. And I just didn't know when it would be so easy. Chapter 7 of Little Black Ma Black Mail. Mr. Krupp sat back in his chair and knuckled and chuckled to himself for a very, for a long, long time. Finally, George got the courage to speak. Ooh, we're going to do with that tape. With, the, with that tape. Yes, he said. I thought you'd never ask. Laughed Mr. Krupp. I thought long and hard. About what to do with those tits of tape? Mr. Krupp said, 
angel at first. I thought I said copies to your parents. The boy swallowed hard and sank deeply into the chairs. Then I thought maybe I should send a copy to the to the school board. As Mr. Krups continued, I can turn you to be both expelled for this. The boy swallowed harder and sank deeper into the chairs. Finally, I came to a decision. Mr. Crump concluded, I thought a football team could be very curious. <laughs> uh, responsible for yesterday's fresco. I think I'll send a copy to them. George and Harold leaped out of their their chairs and fell to their knees. No! cried George. You can't do that! You kill us! Yeah! begged Harold. They'll kill us for the rest of our every day for the rest of our lives! Okay. Mr. Krupp laughed and laughed. Please have mercy! said the boys. The boys cried. We'll do anything! Anything? asked Mr. Principal Krupp. With delight, he reached into his desk, pulled out a list of demands, and tossed it at the, to the, at the boy. He felt like he was dead for the rest of long as he lived. You have to follow these orders, rules, exactly. George and Harold looked carelessly looked at the list. This, this is blackmail, said George. Call it what you like. Principal Krupp set it snapped. And if you two don't follow these lists exactly, then the tape will come. Okay, so the properly of the school, not the lads.